Connection established. Welcome. Some time ago, I made a video about making a Wi Fi antenna. Today, I will present, or let me better say, just scratch the basics of simulations for that antenna. I will present the antenna pattern and coverage map over real terrain. Let me first show you the application with which I made the simulations and where to get it. The tool I'm using to make the simulations is the MATLAB. MATLAB is not open source tool, but have 30 day trial if you want to test it. There is also option to buy it with different plans. Let me mention that the antenna toolbox package or add-on is needed to build the needed antenna you will see in this video. One of the open source alternatives to MATLAB is Octave, which I haven't tested. As far as I can see, Octave doesn't have the antenna toolbox and options for simulations as MATLAB. That's the main reason why I'm using MATLAB. If I'm wrong or you know more alternatives that have similar options, please share it with me and other people in comment section below. MATLAB has a lot of resources and nice examples to get started with the antenna toolbox. I will add the link in video description. Ok, let's jump into MATLAB and see some cool stuff about our antenna. All code will be available on GitHub with link in the description, so you can download it and easily open everything up. In the Live Editor tab, I place the code. Waveguide Circular Antenna Designer is the name of the antenna. To build it, we will go to Apps tab and select Antenna Toolbox. You can create a the new antenna if you want. There is a bunch of antenna types here. I will open my antenna that I've already made before. Here is antenna with the parameters you can see here. Antenna parameters are completely same as the ones when I was building physical Wi-Fi antenna. You can see that antenna frequency is set to 2442 MHz with the defined frequency range. Then we need to export this antenna to workspace to be able to use it. Remember the name because we will use it to define the antenna in the code. Here I already have edit. Next lines are optional and define antenna tilt and to which axis the tilt is connected. You can play with those parameters to get the feeling how they apply to your antenna. After that I show antenna visually with its interesting pattern we will see shortly. Skipping those commented code I was playing with, you can see that I've defined two antennas. First is transmission side which symbolizes antenna A on some position. Second is a receiving side, which symbolizes antenna B on some position. Once we have that defined, we can show them on the map and check the line of sight and coverage. Ok, let's run this code. After running time has finished, we can see the antenna pattern. This antenna is of course directional antenna. This means that it is pointed to the desired direction, which brings stronger signal in that direction using material that can block and reflect the signal in wanted direction. This antenna has one end closed and another one opened. Closed end is reflecting the signal in opposite direction to open end. This can be nicely seen here, where a red color is representing stronger signal which means stronger gain, while blue color shows weak signal, or we can say weak radiation. Blue color is presented on the closed side of antenna. This means that even if the end is closed, antenna is still radiating and passing through that side, but far less than in opposite side with the open end. Red color shows strong radiation from open side of antenna. 
this radiation is expressed as gain in dBi. This dBi is gain of antenna in decibel with respect to isotropic radiator. Isotropic radiator is antenna that radiates in all directions with gain 0 dBi. It is theoretical point source of electromagnetic waves that radiates some intensity or radiation in all directions. It is similar as omnidirectional antenna in practice, which looks like a donut. Now let's see this antenna coverage map. This is the clear antenna pattern, which is ideal mo model. Now let's apply terrain altitude to see where we have the signal available and where we don't have. Here we see the real life example of this antenna coverage. Of course, a lot of parameters can be applied to make it more exact, but for these purposes it is enough to get some feeling how is signal distributed over some area. Green is where signal is available and non-green where it is not. This can be higher peaks and hills, which are not letting the signal pass through. This is coverage map for antenna A, which is here seen as the red pin on the map, and is on higher position than antenna B, which can be seen as blue pin. Ok, this is where I will stop with this video, which has shown some basic things which can be seen for antennas if using MATLAB and antenna toolbox package. This is just the top of the iceberg for what these tools offer. This can be useful if designing and planning the setup of antennas for practical use. And that's it. I hope you learned something new and found useful information in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Good luck.